What's up squatters, Hermit the Dog here, playing some Spiritfarer. I'm actually really excited for this game, been seeing a bit of gameplay. I know very little about it, don't really have any spoilers, so let's dive straight into it. Okay. Ah, finally. Did I click somewhere? Enter? Enter. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm... Ch Ch Charon? Karen? She's a He's a Karen? The world must revolve around him. Spiritfarer. Spirit well, that is what I've been until you arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still have a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Do I get to choose a name? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Do I get to name him? Daffodil. Stella and Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. Burden? I don't want no burden. And take it over for me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands. And when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. Really? I like that. So you're like a... You're like a grim reaper. But like... After people die. I guess? I don't know. You will have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. Okay. I like that bridge. That big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. It's a Navi from Zelda. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight, the symbol of your status here, and the only two you will ever need. Wait, what? Bruh, Daffodil just ran inside him. Get out of camera, Daffodil! Interesting, so he got his own. <laughs> it's, it's like a cat mixed with like a, a fox, I guess. Got a main coon right there. It will be the light that shines through the darkness, in the darkness, and last remain in hope of the departed. Oh! Where I can fly? Oh, okay. So it's on my belt now. Tight. Stuck to me forever. Till I die. Hope is flame, the light never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of our lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too, at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. I have to find my own ship. What about the one I'm on? Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. I see. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. <laughs> it's time. Here I go. Bye-bye, Stella. Stella. 
And good luck, you will need it. Bye, Karen. Dipped. Oh, I like that. Give me my ore. So do I. Okay, I don't control it yet. Just appreciate this art style. Even the loading button. Oh, wow. That load is fast. I love it. Okay, so. Space is jump. So I can use. This doesn't really do anything. Okay. Press space to jump, hold to jump higher. No double jump, okay. Wait. Wait, hold what wall? Hold W while jumping to climb through platforms. Okay. Hold S to space to drop down. Who are you? E to interact with the glowing outline. Okay. You know me! It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. You look so good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm. Well, have a find a lint roller then. Ah, it might not be the obvious after mm. all, it's me. Gwen. Oh, I'm giving like a guy's voice. Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means all. Oh. You are the new spirit farer. You are one replacing Karen. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on these disgusting islands for about a week living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of the trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? I... That's... A big boat. Full of trash. Ooh. That's the one! Ooh. It's obvious, slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it! I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer! Okay, meet me on deck over there, Ooh. and explain it all. Okay. Oh, wrong button. I really like this. This is... Can I explore some more? There's a lot of trash. What are you doing, Daffodil? No, go away. No one wants you- Oh, I messed up. Okay. Whee! This is- I love this art style. Like, look at the physics just with jumping. You can, like, actually feel her jumping. Over here. Mm. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Fur coat? What do you... Wait a minute. Uh... Wait a minute. I gotta change the voice now. Nah. Wonderful! I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated, so the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcome stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. That's cool, so if I bring new spirits on they will take their actual forms. So everyone's gonna look like a cloaked uh, wizard then, it seems like. Why are they looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Personal connection made. So can I just straight up? Okay. I wanna give you the biggest hug right now. Mm. Mm. Oh, Gwen. Mm. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at those. Oh, let's take a look at this chaos. Dude, this is bad. Like, this is like the most. Oh, I can chill. Mm. Oh, no. What? Oh, I have to talk with you. Mm. 
What a mess! Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful and organized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. There was only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm. He's a local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm. We should be head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. It's really easy, actually. There's let me give you this key I found on the island. What island? It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all of this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? I really don't remember you planning an escape. Can you remind me? Mm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm. meticulously. Go open up the cabin, mm. Stella. The map projector should be simply enough to use and just have to go to Albert Shipyard. Let's go. Press tab to request item. Oh, yes, that's what you look at. This is t How do you get in here? Why Why am I behind you? Okay, that, that, that's something that should be fixed. It's like the physics itself make no sense. I'm yet behind Daffodil, but in front of the bed. The cot. I'm in front of the cot. It's a projector. Alt Arbor. What's on the harbor? Okay, wait. Is that Albert? Um, set destination. Okay, so it moves on its own. I like that. Can you... Can I escape. Stella? Mm -hmm. As I understand, the ship's powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the strange spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Karen, the Everdar, the spirit fairers this place, this boat me baying hair. It's a lot. You must wonder what's going on, Stella. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try and make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I say you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give the fishing rod a try. Oh, I get a fish. The world is an oyster. Okay. Where's the fishing rod? I don't want that fishing rod. What's this? Oh, this is how you fish. I remember when I used to be a fisherman. I used to catch all the fish. I pulled it in by the suckers. Oh, I had him. I want to do some more fishing. Fish some more. I once caught a man by the leg and reeled him in and saved his life. He fell overboard off the starboard. Didn't know what he was doing. But what's that? Another herring. Good job, Stella. Oh, I'm already here. That was quick. Makes it that. Here we are, Stella. Wait, oh. Albert Shipyard discovered. I like that. Mm -hmm. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious on what's all made of, mm -hmm. considering the smell it's say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay, so I have to get on it. Wait, can I ring that? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, is this all this guy has here? Is this? That's funny. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. So I assume you are the new spirit fella. Well, of course you are. Anyway, you'd been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ah, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Uh-oh. Probably is the exact same one. See, Kellen was unhappy about his gloomy and dyke arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customers all raised right. So, I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. I get to keep it, he's so kind. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. So he's a loan shark. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. La 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 la. Anyway, with a little bit of love, and this bird will be replaced in again. I do not know how to say that word. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, I am feeling generous. I'll offer it to ye. Free a charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come as such a small price. You'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Okay. Um. What do I do? Upgrade. Okay. So beginner, you get a guest house, a garden, a field, and a kitchen. So that's free. You got all this stuff. A mailbox. So you have to craft some things. Fine by me. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Didn't say anything there. Finally! Good! Albert gave it for free, and he said he loaned the ship to you. Mm. Ominous. Hard to know what he was in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand right for now. Mm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table, about your cabin, and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Blueprint somewhere? I like that roll she does. Pretty sure I go inside. It says... No, that's not blueprints. Definitely not blueprints. Okay, so you discover all these other areas too. I like that. I want to go there though. <coughs> I don't know where the blueprint table is. Oh, it's up there. How does this work? So do I use a mouse? I don't know, edit. Salvage. Sweet, I got all that trash gone. Wonderful. She says she's wonderful. She's looking like a true ship now. Beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Wait, I want to add all this other stuff I got. Oh, I can't do it yet. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. 
unnecessary amenity. Mm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can't tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than a night here. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on deck. Mm -hmm. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humanity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. Have fun. Do I get to do it now? Yes, I do. Okay, so you get to build it the only way you want. So, field. Okay, you have to gather the resources for it first. But I can build the guest house already, so I think that is something that. Wow, you can build it really high. I'll put that on the ground floor. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to reorganize it later, I would assume. Okay, so I need to go gather more stuff. She's going to the guest house. How fun. Oh, very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. I have to feed her? She's a spirit, I thought. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am? But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm. And you might have fished a few fishes here. Oh yeah, I got some fish. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try it for sure, but it'd probably choke on the fish bones and never survive. Mm. You're dead already. That's now how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, so you should keep on using this blueprint table and yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly, and there's only one way to get some. I, uh, look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence and even I carol from it. A void that swallows all, light included. I can take many forms and for me it's always a jellyfish. She's scared of a jellyfish. Yes, I'm right fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can't do it. They will appear as a dark patch of fur, pure fear, on your map. So you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. She's she's slipping into something more uh, comfortable. Okay, so I need to go somewhere else. I get a sip of coffee. I think it's that uh that ominous black, purplish, darkish, fuzziest remembrance representing it. I'm gonna go there. Do some fishing while I wait. I used to be a fisherman like you. Until I took a hook to the knee. I never fished again. It's nice just sitting back, relaxing. <clears throat> having a good time fishing. That's one hair they do got there. I don't know why I'm giving these kinds of voices to everyone in the game. I should give him some more pilot voices. Uh, a cargo shoe. Typical. 
Such a wholesome game. It's nice and fluid too. I love it. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. What's going on here? Someone's she's screaming. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, see, set your eyes on those ones with bright jelly. Mm. They should be visible enough. They said pop as many as you can. You'll get climbs anyways. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out of right here. Mm. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Yo, this is... What do I do? What do I do? Oh, that's it. I just gotta run into them. I get climbs. This isn't that bad. Oh yeah? You wanna you wanna you wanna mess with me? Oh yeah? Just walk into me and see what happens. Ooh, the dogs got gotcha. you. Oh wait. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. I gotta get up. Gotta get up. No. No. No 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 no. Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh no. No, I'm missing them all. <laughs> this is a lot more harder than I thought than it looks. Oh, I need to get it, need to get it, need to get it, need to get it. No, get back here. That's right. There's another one coming. Whoa, bro. these guys oh is that it oh, looks like that's it fantastic okay I'm really impressed you rocked out there tumbling and diving like a shooting star without a slightest fear no hesitation at that you definitely haven't lost your touch Stella and you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Jeez. A little bit uh, over dramatic there. Get a kitchen in here. I'm gonna put it right next to the guest house. She gonna say fantastic. Mm -hmm. Lovely kitchen. Mm -hmm. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm -hmm. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. Wait. Are those dingleberries? That's gross, bro. I can't wait to see ya in the cooking glory again. You got this. I actually like to cook. A bit of a, uh, chef myself. Okay, let's cook. I cook, cook, cook. Or. Hmm. It's getting very steamy in this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> popcorn. I can smell the popcorn for here. I'm gonna cook some fish now. Sit back, Ooh. relax, let it cook. Oh, that's actually gonna take a while. Stella? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about mm -hmm. this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light, or some other technology. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people 
to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle on finish business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm. You're awake refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me. Waking up on time has uh, never been my rote. You can ring the bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm. Have a good night. Wow. <laughs> My little brother screaming in the room next to me. I can just ring the bell now and wake her up. Alright, okay, that's gonna take a while. I guess this is a good uh, spot to uh, end the video. Not sure how long I've been recording. But so far, so good. I'm gonna uh, head to sleep and uh, I'll probably catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining me, squatters. This is Homer the Dog, and I'll see you next time.